Adam Hill Vending. This video, if you have seen the last video, you will know that Hill Vending picked up two new accounts this week. It's beginning, uh, beginning of the year. If you're looking for accounts, now's the time to start looking. Uh, companies are on the hunt. Things are opening back up. So in this video, I'm gonna go over what I'm gonna do to this machine to get it ready, that AMS 39 machine, which I have proclaimed as the best vending machine in the world if I only could pick one. Um, and we're gonna go over, that's an older AMS, this Vendo 621 and this four wide snack machine, Wittern, um, with iVend. We're gonna go over what you need to do to make sure that they are ready to rock and roll. So let's get right into it on this AMS machine. Again, this AMS machine is going to a landscape supply company. Seven employees, but 100 different, uh, 75 to 100 different uh, people coming through the doors buying stuff. And remember here in Florida that this is the slow time. They're only open five days. When it gets back into the grass cutting, uh, season they're going to be open on the weekends as well so really looking forward to that but again we're in front of an ams 39 this brand new right now you're looking with shipping depending on depending on where you live card reader bill coin around six thousand dollars um if i tell you i'll tell you what i paid for this but don't tell anybody because i don't want them to find out <laughs> two thousand dollars $2,000. If you're looking for deals, you know, offer up Facebook marketplace Craigslist. If you have the cash, you can get the deals. So let's open this up. It's a five wide, five wide combo. If you're not familiar with what that means, five wide combo, five uh, columns across for your chips. And then it has three snack and three drink. So this is a little bit interesting if you've seen this. Some people are asking about the high capacity can tray. Um, this didn't come with one. So I wanna see how this account does before we dump more money into a high capacity can tray, which is hundreds of dollars. So this one I think is right around 60 cans. It's got the little level there. You just place the cans all the way back, pushes them right out. So that, um, this tray we're gonna do Energy drinks, your monsters, Red Bulls, whatever, NOS, Bang Energy, whatever they, they want in there. And then this level, same as the previous, we'll do waters, Gatorades, maybe some teas, uh, whatever we feel like putting in there. Now, this, you might not have seen this before. See this divider here? That's an insulated uh, little styrofoam divider that is supposed to... By the way, if you have a question, drop it in the comments and I'll try to get to it. That is supposed to keep the cold drinks cold and not the snacks cool, but there's really no damage that's gonna be done if your entire machine is cold. There's no damage that happens to you know, your, your chips or your Cheez-Its or your Famous if it's cold. So you can go ahead and let everything be cold. So I'm probably gonna remove that, but here's the issue that I run into, which is why you wanna prep your machines and make sure you go through them wipe them down, make sure you have coins in the coin mech. We'll get into all this a little bit later, but this is the first issue I ran into. If you notice right here, see that gap between here to here? Okay, more of a normal gap here. You have your protein bar right there. But now if I want to do water on this tray, let's see what happens. This is 20 ounce water. Granted, I could use a little water bottle, but 20 ounce water is the water we use. Want to be efficient. We don't want to have a lot of different skews of water. So when that goes in, that's hitting. So that's not good, okay? If we switch it around. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, now let's see, even down here, hits. Obviously, it's not going to go on the can tray. So the solution to that is the following. You leave the can tray, you leave the energy drink tray alone, and you leave 
this one alone. We're going to pull these trays out and raise them up enough. Raise this one up enough so that water will fit. Gatorade 20 ounce bottles will fit and slide out so that this issue is solved. Now to pull the trays out, simply open this up, unplug your tray harness, pull your tray out just like a cabinet drawer. You're gonna lift up, remove it. There's two brackets on the side that you remove, raise them up, reinstall. So once you've done one, pretty simple, easy to do. Um, so this is why you wanna go through your machines before you get an account and not just put the machine in there. Uh, if, if you have storage, obviously you wanna do this, uh, but you wanna have the machine in to make sure that everything's gonna fit because when you get on location, and if this would have happened, then you're having to do surgery. It just looks really, really bad when you're doing surgery, pieces, parts, all over the landscape supply store. Someone might walk off with a spiral. You never know, you never know. Okay. So that's the plan. That's going to go in next week on this one. The other thing you want to make sure that the bill, coin mech, lights on. We need to fill that with coins. Fill up your coin mech so that it can give change. And look at this. Look what I found down here. No coin bin. There's no coin bin for the coin chute. Luckily, we have... Uh, a bunch of coin bins that we can put down in there. Next, let's take a look at the screen here. Move these little tabs up. Not too bad, but what we can do, I'll show you here. What we can do is pull this out. That was on the bottom. Pull that out, clean that off. Let's see if you can see. So that just comes up and slides right in like that. So that will need to be clean. So you go through it, make a list of everything you need. And then finally, final two things we will do to this machine is put on the card reader, take this, take this off, put the card reader on and price it. So price it and label it and make sure it's ready to go. That way, when we show up, when we back the truck up, take the machine off, pallet jack, plug it in, fill it up, we are good to go. Now, another little tip, if, so let me know in the comments if you have questions about prepping that AMS machine. The next is these two machines. If you're looking for something, you wanna wipe down your machines, Simple green, all-purpose cleaner, it's supposed to be safe. Um, you know, good for the environment, great little solution. You get this at any Home Depot or, uh, let's see, or Amazon, you can order it in. So, as you see these, this, you can use Windex on that, but let's see how good this works on that right there. So if we spray it a little bit, look at that. Look at the difference there. Can you see the difference? Uh, there's kind of a glare on there. So do that to the whole machine. Wipe down the entire machine because these machines have been in our warehouse. Obviously the door is open, dust, debris. You want to make sure they're clean, wipe down. This machine, four wide, has I-Vend, a little bit older machine. But the reason we're putting this out is the location is around 75 employees and want to try it out first we're actually going to go in and put no card reader on to start see what the volume's at make sure that the, we're getting some sales through before we go ahead and put a card reader on there but what you want to do with this with your snack see these coils you always want your coils at the six o'clock location down here six o'clock location and with the light being on, some of the bags, the glue on the bottom of the bags can make this sticky. You can use some goo gone. You can try your simple safe. You wanna wipe these, you wanna wipe your trays so it's smooth. Cause even though it has an eye vent, you don't want the sticky putting the bag up in the air, 
causing issues, causing jams. Next, if you want to change your prices, change the price scrolls to the correct price. These are all gonna be a uh, dollar, big chips up here. Same thing here, wipe these trays down, set the price, go into the board, set all that. Um, next thing is it came with this coin mech, this coin mech right here. MEI coin changer. This is a little bit of an older model, but I'm of the uh, opinion, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Not yet. We have plenty of spare parts in there, but let's ride that out until it gives issues. Then we can put in, uh, then we can put in a new coin mech. So again, remember the, uh, want to get in this, get this in before we leave hillvending.com forward slash course, helping people save tens of thousands of dollars, uh, getting started with their vending business at the end of the month, at the end of the month in January. So Monday, um, the six months free coaching goes away completely. So, uh, if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence, hop in, hop in because it's, uh, it's well worth it. And you're going to learn a lot of valuable information. Now, mag 30, I'm going to upgrade that to a VN upgrade that coin, this bill validator. So that's better. Wipe the machine down price program. That's going to be good to go. Now this 621 live display, live display because you can see the cans in the window. We're going to set it up a little different. So we'll pull the cans out, make sure it's set. The depth is set correctly. Make sure it's, you know, four deep cans. We'll put water, bottle water in one of the columns and the account asks for just, uh, you know, your top sellers. And then we can put something else in there. The other thing we're going to do is a refrigeration test. We'll plug it in, let it run for a few hours and make sure it's getting down to temperature. So the last thing you want to do is install your machine and have, warm sodas there you go so coin bill wipe all this down wipe all this down and have it ready to go because worst case scenario if the account does not perform as predicted we can always leave it in there as long as it's uh called paid storage as long as it's you know making have a, has a pulse not a lot's going out of date it's out of the shop it's in a place where it's making money and you can go to it every, every so often. It's not a negative. It's a net positive for the business. Let's see if you have any comments here. Live chat. Adam Zur in the building. Uh, one of my students, Adam, thank you for hopping on here. Helped him out tremendously uh, with his, with his vending, vending struggles. I mean, there's just so many, so many things, so many landmines, paying 50% commissions, buying Sega machines. You know, I don't know of anyone else. If you could let me know in the comments, if you're watching this video on the replay, who, who is, who is actually teaching the real world vending? I think Hill Vending is the only one. And that's why I want to urge you to get into the course, get into it and learn from someone who's actually in the business, who's actually getting accounts. I'm not a consultant guys. I'm not, I'm not a consultant. This is the full-time business. Obviously, I'm doing consulting on the coaching on the side, but my main business is vending. So find someone who has a box truck, find someone who has employees, find someone who has uh, a track record of success and someone who is not saying, I'm gonna teach you how to do vending, but they don't have a vending business themselves or it's non-existent. So hope that helps. Again, getting these machines up, what we're gonna do in the future since they're going in at the same time, the general same uh, week, basically, I'm gonna do an update video. We're gonna see which one does more money. This one AMS at a landscape supply or the two at a 75 medical employee, uh, medical employee, medical manufacturing area. So let me know that in the comments too. Let's see, we're gonna do an update video and see which one after a month has more sales. And uh, remember, if you want the free guide, hillvending.com forward slash start. Let's get started. And remember, until next time, keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh.